There's more and more research now indicating that storms are becoming more frequent and more intense. And as a result of that, there's going to be more wave action on coral reefs. Um, and so that's why we're interested in looking at whether or not coral reef fish are able to adapt, to change their physiology and become more athletic in order to face these changing conditions on coral reefs. A few things influence how difficult it is for fish to move around in their environment. And one of those things, as you might imagine, is waves and water motion and flow and current. If you just think of the last time you were swimming in a river or swimming in the surf where there's lots of waves, it's obviously very difficult to move in those environments. And now there are some species of fish that are actually really well adapted for living in those habitats. And so what I'm trying to understand through my research is what aspects of, of their body shape and what aspects of their physiology enable them to, to really thrive in those wavy habitats. I do all my research up at Lizard Island, which is in the northern Great Barrier Reef. It's about um, 100 kilometers north of Cairns, so it's a mid-shelf reef um, that has, it's, it's a great place to do this work because it has a range of different habitats right around it. So we have some areas that are very, very wavy and have lots of, lots of currents and lots of water motion, and there are fishes that are really sort of being tossed around in these very exposed habitats. And then there are really calm lagoonal habitats where the fishes aren't getting as much training. So essentially what we do is um, we'll collect fish, bring them into um, the aquarium facility at Lizard Island, and we've built a very large swim tunnel for them over there. So we'll uh, keep them in the swim tunnel for a period of about a month or a month and a half and have them swim for a number of hours a day and see whether or not they can change their physiology to become better athletes. So one of the things we're, we're interested in looking at is whether or not um, athleticism is very plastic, whether it can change quite rapidly. So not only are we trying to train fish for them to become better athletes, but we also want to see whether um, fish that are quite athletic, that we collect in the field, whether we can bring them into the lab, put them in a situation where they're not doing very much exercise, and then whether they um, become couch potatoes, essentially. And so far, our results tend to indicate that, yes, that's the case. I think it's really powerful to be able to go and observe the fishes in their natural habitat and also get tossed around a little bit and experience some of the, <laughs> some of the conditions that they have to survive as well as they're moving through their, uh, their daily life.